Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be memory planning the week of July 22nd through July 28th and I have a summer kit for this week. Um, this is from the Graceful Planner and as you can see it is in silver foil. I think the silver foil works so nicely with the color of this kit. I'm going to go over what's included in this kit really quickly and then we're going to jump right into the planning. So here we have the nine full boxes and every single box has at least a little bit of foiling and then then, let's see if I can turn the page. On this page, we have the boxes, and there's quite a variety of half boxes, third boxes, appointment labels, quarter boxes, build due stickers. This is a really cute one. It says treat yourself. And then we have some scallop labels here at the bottom. And again, most of them have some foiling. And the foiling in this kit is a little bit spotty. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's not too bad. I'm not even sure if it's like really picking up on camera. It's just something that you can kind of see in real life. And then on this page, we have the bottom wash which is two different strips. We have the little photograph strip here and then um, this is like a little bow washi as well as the date covers and I think these are just some different sized washi strips on the side and this last sheet here has um, lots of headers. We have three sidebar trackers, um, two of these larger boxes but I think I'm only going to use one of them because this one looks more like a work tracker or like a schedule tracker. We have some three heart checklists or three bow checklists and then down here we have a bunch of scalloped bow checklists that are in silver foil. Um, there are quite a lot that comes with this kit, so I'll probably only use a few. I think this might be a mini kit since it only came with four sheets, but um, I can't remember off the top of my head whether there was a larger option. Um, so anyways, without further ado, I do want to go ahead and get started. And as usual, I like to start with my bottom washi, so um, I'll just kind of explain what I do from there. I feel like this week has been the easiest and most successful placement of the bottom washi that I've done so far in my new Erin Condren planner. Um, the bottom washi has honestly been quite a struggle because they've changed that part, I think, like the most drastically. And so um, for this week, what I did was just white out some of those lines and um, made it look more like the old Erin Condren where there was like a space between the day and the bottom washi section. So I really like how that turned out. And the other thing that helped was that this kit was on pretty thick sticker paper paper and so I didn't have to white out all of the lines um, because it wasn't going to peek through so that definitely helped me save on a lot of white out and I'm definitely going to try this method again and then moving to my sidebar for this week I decided to build my sidebar from the bottom up which is probably not something I've done before but I decided to do it for this time because that colored hexagon in the top corner actually matched my kit for this week so I decided to leave it and um, I wasn't sure how the spacing would work because this is my first time leaving that hexagon there and so I decided to start from the bottom so that if I needed to trim the full box I was able to do so and it ended up fitting really perfectly I didn't have to trim anything at all and that worked out really nicely so the next thing I do is put down all my date covers and I do find that to be a little more challenging in this planner because the top corners of the day are rounded and so it's kind of hard to like line up where the date covers go but luckily they don't have to be super perfect I don't think you can tell if they're off by just a little bit and then I pulled in some silver date dots from Tagami Fox, um, which I think went with the spread really nicely, and then I move on to Monday. On Monday, I first started by putting down a strip of washi at the top. It's more like a header, I guess. And then I pulled in this silver foiled confetti header from Tagami Fox just to add a little foiling on top of that. I then used a quarter box to mark that we had a lazy morning. And then um, I made some smoothie and some noodles for lunch. So I put down a silver foiled drink sticker, which is from Hazel Sticker. I then put down a to-do header with a three bow checklist that came in the kit and just marked some things that I did that day. I realized that I don't have that many icons that match the color scheme of this kit, so you'll definitely see me pulling in fewer icons for this spread. And then I placed down the full box with the silver foiled umbrella, um, but I do lift it up because I trimmed it down a bit. I realized I didn't have enough space to mark everything that I wanted. Um, then I put down a half box with a noodle sticker from a happy blue tree to mark where we went for dinner that night. Um, we took our parents to one of our favorite Japanese restaurants and then I just played my phone game Stardew Valley that night so I used a silver foiled bow and that is from planning like a pro on Tuesday I first started by putting down a full box at the top and I had to adjust it a few times because I think the box was cut like the exact same size as the box of the Erin Condren and so the line kept peeking through on one side of it I don't know it was really strange so I just kept adjusting and then that morning I did some filming so I put down a camera sticker that is from Bloom Paper Studio and then I also pulled in a silver foiled film sticker from Randy Dot Plans 
That day we went and grabbed some boba. So I put that on a little things I believe, or maybe a washi strip. And the silver foiled boba is from randy.plans as well. We then watched a movie on Netflix called Secret Obsession. It wasn't very good, but it starred Brenda Song, who like I've always really liked. Um, and so I put that on a half box and the TV icon I believe is from my spoiled planner. At the end of the night, we went over to the house that my parents were staying at and we had dinner with them. So I put that on an appointment label and then I lifted it up because I wanted to mark that we played Mahjong um, before we came home. And I cut down a strip of the bottom washi um, and then I pulled in this really happy Maru sticker from Paper and Milk because I love Mahjong. And then in the remaining white space, I wanted to mark that I went to the pool and read Harry Potter that day. And so I used this pool time script sticker from Lexi Kylie Design and then I just wrote in the Harry Potter underneath. That was it for Tuesday. And then before I moved to Wednesday, I decided to adjust the day covers. I felt like they were sitting a little too close to the top of the days. So I just go ahead and move them up a little bit and I like that a lot better. Um, and then continuing on to Wednesday, I first started by putting down a scallop label at the top just because I think it's so pretty and I wanted to incorporate it somehow in my spread. And then I moved to the bottom and placed down a full box. I continued with the day and the first thing I did was record a voiceover so I used that text sticker from randy.plans and then the um, film clapper sticker is from Mandy Dreams. My boyfriend and I then went to the OC fair that day. Um, it's like the county fair that has all the games and food and all that stuff and we got free admission that day for bringing in some canned goods as part of like a fundraiser um, so that was a really good deal. Um, I initially put that on a half box but because I didn't have enough space to mark everything I then switched it out for a smaller label instead and that really cute Polaroid picture sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then put down a three bow checklist from the kit to mark some of the highlights of our trip to the fair. We took this like garden tour because my boyfriend really enjoys gardening. And then we had some frozen margaritas, which was perfect because it was so hot that day. Um, that night we watched a movie called Kung Fu Hustle. It was like really random, but super funny. And then we also watched Schitt's Creek, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, I put that on a silver foiled sticky note that is from Hazel Sticker. And that cozy bundled up girl sticker is from Fox and Pip. Above that, I put down a strip of washi, and then I used a grocery run sticker from Love Shira, which unfortunately is not open anymore, um, to mark that we went and got some groceries um, after the fair and before we watched a movie. Moving on to Thursday, first I put down that quarter box or maybe third box, and then I used a sleeping mask sticker from Bloom Paper Studio to mark that I slept in that morning, which is really nice. And then I used another strip of washi with a silver foiled bow. Um, that one is again from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I made a birthday present for one of my friends that was going to hang out with. On the half box, I put down a utensil sticker from Lemon Paper Co. to mark where my friends and I went and got some lunch. And then I put down a full box underneath that, the one with the champagne bottle, and it's so cute and pink. So that was my favorite, and I purposely saved it for Thursday. Underneath the full box, I used a to-do header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that I did um, later in the afternoon. And then at the end of the night, we watched more Schitt's Creek. And then I had a pack because we were leaving for a road trip the following day. And that adorable suitcase sticker actually came in my leftover stash. Um, so unfortunately, I don't remember which shop that was from. On Friday, I first started by placing down a full box at the top. And like I mentioned earlier, we did a road trip on Friday. We were headed up to the Bay Area to see my sister. Um, and so I put down that large road trip sticker, which is from Bookish Planning. And then we stopped by in and out for lunch on the way. So I put that on a washi strip and used another silver bow from Planning Like a Pro. We then got to my sister's house and she currently has these two really cute cats that I got to hang out with for a bit. And so I put that on, I think that's a washi strip and the Maru with the cat sticker is from Paper and Milk. I think it's like the cutest thing ever. One of the cats was gray, so it was really perfect. And then we went and got some dinner with my parents and some of their friends. Um, the utensil sticker is also from my leftovers collection. So again, I don't know where that's from, but I really don't like how I wrote Berkeley because I didn't space it out very well and I ran out of space at the end. End, and I do fix that later on. 
I put down a half box with a treble clef sticker from Plans with Vanessa to mark that we went and watched West Side Story, which is um, a musical, and my sister was participating in that concert, so we got to see her in action, and it was really exciting. And then at the end of the night, we actually went to stay with one of our friends because my sister didn't have space at her place, and so um, I just marked that we played some cards, we had some beers, and then we slept over at our friend's house. And that emoji sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is where I decided to rewrite the word Berkeley so that it could fit in the space more nicely. And I just wrote it in the top corner of one of the pages in the kit that had like white space and um, stuck it down to replace the writing that I did not like. And that's a trick I use sometimes to fix my writing because sometimes when I write over whiteout, um, the color is different and I don't really like how that turns out. So it's just something that I like to do. Moving to Saturday, I decided to work um, backwards on Saturday. So I started by putting down a full box at the bottom and then and I used a three heart checklist with a quarter box on top of that to mark that it was my friend's birthday and we got to celebrate the day with her, which is really exciting. So I just put the places that we went to for her birthday on the heart checklist. And then above that, um, we all really love Schitt's Creek. So we binged it that afternoon. I put that on a half box. And again, the TV sticker is from my spoiled planner. I then moved back to the top of the day and first I put down a to-do header and that little rice bowl sticker is from Paper and Milk. I used that to mark that we got some Japanese food for my friend's birthday lunch and then we got some boba. So I pulled in this silver foiled boba sticker that's from Randy.Plans and then the foiled boba icon is from Hazel Sticker. In the remaining space, I pulled in a strip of washi and I used this shoe sticker from Simply Laura Paper Shop to mark that we went and took a walk around the cemetery. I know it sounds really morbid, but it was like this really beautiful cemetery. Um, so it was just basically like a really scenic walk. And then, um, yeah, that was it for Saturday. Then for Sunday, the first thing I put down was a half box because my boyfriend, my parents, and I took another road trip out to Reno. Um, we were just gonna go hang out for a few days. Initially, I put down this heart location icon and I think that's from Sunset Sticker Co., but I do later switch it out for something else. I then put down a quarter box to mark where we had stopped for lunch in Sacramento, and then this is where I replaced that heart icon with a car sticker, which is from Nicole Hutch Designs. I actually just got those stickers, and I'll be uploading a haul with that um, pretty soon. And then once we got to Reno, the first thing we did was check into our hotel. So that's where I actually used the heart location sticker instead to mark that we checked in. And then I used a full box underneath that, and that is the last full box that I was going to use for the week. I put down a scallop label underneath that and then wrote the name of one of the casinos that we went to check out. My parents really like casinos and so that's kind of what we did when we were in Reno. Um, at the very bottom, I put down another quarter box and wrote in the name of another casino that we went to for a bit. And then above that, I used a utensil sticker from Paper and Milk. But before I filled in where we went for dinner, um, I actually decided to add in a little header above the scallop label because I had that extra space and I just figured that would um, make the spacing look a little nicer. And yeah, I filled in where we went for dinner. And then the last thing I do before I move to my sidebar is to scoot up the date covers that I had put down um, because I hadn't done it for this side of the spread yet. And once I finished with that, I just move on to filling out my sidebar, um, tracking my workouts, which I didn't do at all this week, and my happy moments and my dinners, which are all the things that I usually track. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. I do a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling and I try to pull in as much silver foil as I could this week, which you can probably tell. And yeah, that is how my spread turned out for this week. I actually love how this spread turned out with the large monthly hexagon on the side. I wasn't sure what, how I was going to feel about it, but I actually really like it and it definitely makes the spread look unique because I feel like this is not something Erin Condren had done before. So yeah, it's not something I could do every week because it really depends on the kit that I'm using and whether or not it matches the color of the hexagon hexagon, but I do actually like how it turned out. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Let me know what you guys think about the spread and let me know if you have any questions about the stickers that I used. Um, as always, thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.